ഇതിനോടെ ഒരു കല്ലുവിലെ വാങ്ങാട്ടോ അല്ലേലു വയ്യാന്നാണോ പറഞ്ഞത് അല്ലേലുവിയാണോ പറഞ്ഞത് അല്ലേലും വയ്യാന്നാണോ സഫിയോട് ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി ഒരു കല്ലേവിയെ പറഞ്ഞാട്ടോ കർത്താവ് നമ്മെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ ഈ നല്ല ദിവസത്തിന്റെ നല്ല സമയത്തിനായിട്ട് ദൈവത്തിന് ഞാൻ നന്ദി പറയുകയാണ് അനുഗ്രഹിക്കപ്പെട്ട ആ സഭയുടെ സഭാരാധനയിലേക്ക് കടന്നു വരുവാൻ എനിക്ക് ഇടയായത് ബ്രദർ ഷെർവിൻ ഹാലറിയ സഹോദരി കുടുംബമായിട്ട് മസ്കറ്റിലെ പ്രദേശത്തുണ്ട് the opportunity i got to come to this church is due to brother shirvin sister who is as family in muskin avaru mukandaramana kavale dasane parijayapaduvan kathav sahayichathu it was through them that i was introduced to the son of the lord mama chambaste kuriche njan idinu munbu kettittundu i heard about pastor mamen before njan kaanunnathu kathav dasane orupichathu pole kaiyana raathriyana like how the son of the lord said we met just last night engil njan onnu vishwasikkunnu But I believe one thing. The Lord who has seen us before the foundation of the world. He has seen last night even before. I thank God for His love. 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 for everyone who is gathered in the presence of the lord today yesu christ in the name of the lord we are going to pray for you i accept my greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ samayam nammude munnil othirilla we don't have much time before us anigrikkapetta oru message nammal kettu kedinu we already heard a blessed message thodarnu nammal devojanathinte keelil nammal aayirikkunu we continue to be before the word of god in the bagaratha chindakku vendi namukku oru veda bhagam vaikkam now let's turn our attention to the word of god roma lekhanam book of romans yathama adhyayam chapter 8 31 32 veda bhagangal verses 31 and 32 idu sambandhichu naam endu parayendu idu sambandhichu naam endu parayendu devam namukku anugulamengil devam namukku anugulamengil namukku prathigulam aa namukku prathigulam aare sonda putrane aadarikkade sonda putrane aadarikkade namukku ellavarkkum vendi namukku ellavarkkum vendi ഏൽപ്പിച്ചു തന്നവൻ അവനോടുകൂടെ സകലവും നമുക്ക് നൽകാതെ ഇരിക്കുമോ എല്ലാ കണ്ണുകളും അടച്ച് ദിവസത്തിൽ നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം കണ്ണുകൾ അടച്ചു വെറുതെ ഇരിക്കാനല്ല not that you close your eyes and sit simply a vaagal thurannu devathil onnu sudhikka let's open our mouths and praise god kaal dasan oru pichathu pole sudhikka namukku uthiri kaaranangal undu like all the servants of god so we have many reasons to we have many reasons to worship aavathukal avan anarthangalokke eeri vannappol when there were different troubles and sorrows that came upon us sorkam namai parivarichu heaven kept us safe avante veliya jarigina marave namme marachu he kept us safe from the shadow of his wings namala midukalla it is not our own namala kaivalla our own capable namala panathile kolipalla not because of the greatness of our aarogyamalla our own health namala yandas alla our own mind devathile krubayana namale nirthiyada but it is the grace of god that you are full of the grace of god those who show up are full of god അങ്ങനെ ഉറപ്പുള്ളവർ മാത്രം സുരിശാൻ മതിയാണ് അങ്ങനെ ഉറപ്പുള്ളവർ മാത്രം നിങ്ങളുടെ മിടുക്കിലാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സുരിക്കണ്ട നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാ വാഗ്ദാനം തുറന്ന് ദൈവത്തെ ഏത് സമയമുള്ള സുരിശേഖരിക്കും മാറിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് ഇന്നു പകൽ ആത്മാവ് നമ്മളോട് കൃത്യമായി സംസാരിക്കും the holy spirit will touch us tonight oh adayo nammude aavashyangal arayunna deyama there is a god who knows our nammude hrudaya marayunna deyam inda pagalathine kattunda this morning we have a god in our midst who knows our needs avan aadhyanya mandhyanama he is the beginning and the end avan aadhyanya mandhyanama he is the alpha and the omega ella vaagalam thoru deyathe sudhiche ഉടമ 
I praise God for the opportunity to be here with the blessed man of God. There are servants of God who are older than me here. When I have an opportunity to minister from the word of God before them, I see that it's a great blessing. For the last eight years, I am the pastor of a church. If I start saying my testimony, I won't be able to finish on time. And you may not be benefited from hearing it either. But I'm going to bring someone before you whom you can benefit from, and that is my Jesus. This is the portion that we read. If God be for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Let us believe in this morning. He is the God who gives us all things. If he gave his only begotten son for us on the cross of Calvary, he is the God who can give us everything. He has not set aside anything. God is for us. Let us again read a portion from the Bible. The Gospel of John, chapter 20, verse 1 onwards. Anjo, yang cuma ni mudah ya, ya Roma kerana ni imperial mudah ya orang politik 
Lord are going to come down for you. The battle belongs to the Lord. The Lord of hosts is coming for you. For the matter that you say is not the God of heaven is going to come down for you. If you believe it, clap your hands and praise God. There was a 
servant girl coming against him. She must have asked Peter when she saw him. Peter, where are you going early in the morning? Peter may have said, The one you crucified and the one you killed. Jesus Christ is risen. And the servant girl may have asked him, Peter, wasn't it you who said that you did not know him? Didn't you start cursing them? Didn't you start swearing them? Then why are you going to see Jesus now? Why do you go to see someone you did not know? And why then Peter slowed down even more? Today morning when he came to worship, the devil may have shown you a list of sins before you. And you see that we cannot worship. We used to wash it away by the blood of Jesus and sin. But today morning Jesus is calling out. However ready your sins may be. He is the one who can wash it white as snow. Believe it, he is a God of miracles. And when Peter slowed down, the devil started clapping his hands. Like how I destroyed one, I'm going to destroy the other one too. There is something Jesus himself said. Simon, so that your faith may not go away. I am praying to the Father. There is a Jesus who intercedes for us. So that we do not lose our faith. So that we do not lose our reign of eternity. It is the grace of God that brought you here in this world. It is not because of any it is not because of the greatness of the world. All the greatness of our past But it is the grace of God. There is one who intercedes for us. Even today he is sitting at the right hand of the Father and looking. It is he who extends our life. It is he who keeps us from falling. How many times the devil has pushed us? How many times we should have stumbled and fallen? But his arms have held us. His mighty arms have held us. There is only one thing we can say this morning. I did not stand by myself. But God made me stand. God has made me stand. Look again. Look, John comes running to the tomb. Yes. Peter is stopping midway. When you stood in the way, nobody looked at you. Nobody asked why you slowed down. But there is a Jesus who sees you. He comes down to you and says, Peter, I died for you. My blood washes you. And Peter wrote his epistle, he says, All these promises are for us. Peter remembered the promises. There is a question Peter asked Jesus. If my brother does a wrong against me, how many times should I forgive him? The one who taught seven, seventy times, he got the feeling inside him that he will forgive him. He started running quickly. He ran quickly and came before the tomb. And John, who reached there first, did not enter into the tomb. If you ask John, he will say, I don't want to get inside the tomb. 
Why is it so, John? John will say, I am the disciple of Jesus. And Jesus sort of gave his mother to me. So I can, I'm satisfied with standing outside the tomb. It is written this way. Peter who came running got into the tomb. And the disciple who reached there first went behind Peter into the tomb. Some may have reached there first. You can see some coming early for worship. But they may be outside the church. They may get in only after a couple of songs. And they say, let everything take place. Let everything get into an order. After that, I will get in. But that is not what Jesus desires. Before everyone comes, you get into the temple. And if you will start worshiping God, God will come down at your worship. And let us set aside every limitation. And let us come close to the love of God. Let us set aside every boundary that we have set. And let us run towards that love. This is what is written there. Both of them got into the tomb. And saw the linen clothes that were used to write. And they saw the kerchiefs. They saw it and they returned. They did not come to see Jesus. They came to see if Mary was telling the truth. This is what is written in the Gospel of Luke. They saw and were amazed and returned. What is the reason? Mary said that Jesus is risen. They wanted to see that. They saw it and they returned. Luke, Let's read John 20, 11. We can see here, but Mary stood outside by the tomb. We Mary, why are you crying? Mary will say, I came to see Jesus. My Jesus is not here. Concerning a child of God. A righteous man praised by the river of Yahweh. This is how we praise. Without you blessing me. I will not let you go. Jacob. Jacob. What blessing do you want? You yourself say. I went there with a stick. Today I have come back with two groups. What blessing more do you need? Jacob will say, that is not the blessing I need. There is a God who said, you will change my name. There is a God who said, you will change my situation. I need that blessing. I am going to my brother. I don't want to go there as the old man. I don't want to go there in my old way. There is a God who can change my name. He is the God who will lead me. Jacob prayed to that God. In the Old Testament we can see another prayer. It is in the book of Chronicles. It is Jabez who prayed that prayer. Jabez prayed to the God of Israel. Many times when I read that portion, I think. This is how the Old Testament saints would pray. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, 
They pray God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But Japheth prayed with one, just one word. Israel in the O oh God of Israel. He knows that this is the God who changes my name. He is the God who changes situations. If you believe this morning, he can change your name oh, and situation. He is going to change the state of the church. The Lord has planted this church for a revival in this city. To bring about the revival of some, to bring forth some. That the Lord has planted you in this nation. The Holy Spirit tells me today morning that He's going to make us a fresh people. The Lord shows me like how a great tree is standing. Like how many birds nest in that tree. It is going to be said. It is going to grow in the nation. Many birds are going to come in. Many different nations Yes, 
father putta namath yanal veendu maduthu varunu we come before you in the name of the son indha pagalil kelpicha devigaal nilikai sotra thank you for the message that you gave us this morning amma namadigaalam nil abhishekathil ninnu manda in the authority and power that you gave ee samayaye nanikkirichu prarthikkunnu i bless the church and pray for it ee vela nanikkirahamai maarana let them be a blessing yesu ne kaanichu kodukunna ee samaya Let it be a church that shows up Jesus. Nitya da da bele paani lodu da da samaya. A church that runs towards the vision of eternity. So kampai na da na ina de varagi. Thank you, heaven, that you're building them that way. Amen. Have you seen the good of my eyes? Did you know? Bless your servant and his family. Come on, the last thing we need to pray for you. Pray for your servant. Come on, we need the sake of the day. So God. Thank you for the healing that you gave her. But if you don't mind, Lord, what are you doing? The Holy Spirit tells me. God is commanding full power and healing in the body. One more one, and then you will not get it. The God is not going to send you back like how you came. The God has healed you in times past. He is faithful to continue to hold you in strength. Lord, thank you for blessing this church. Lord, thank you for blessing this church. Lord, thank you for blessing this church. Thank you for your word. Jesus name we pray. Pray for all the Lord's people and pray for them. Or come on, pray for the Lord's name. Lord, pray for us. Amen. Lord, pray for us. 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 Lord, pray for